What's going on, everybody? The world is a better place because you are here to join us. My name is Matt Brown, and I am the host of the Productive Conversations podcast. It is Thursday, September 26, 2024, and we are here to talk our picks for week four in the NFL and week five in college football. And I hope everybody's having a great time in this late September day. So let's get to, into it and let's talk our picks. But before we do, I just want to remind you to like and subscribe to the Productive Conversations podcast on all podcasts and platforms and YouTube. And don't forget to check out exclusive content regarding the show across all social media platforms. We're on Instagram at Productive Conversations Podcast, Twitter next at Pod. We're on TikTok at Productive Conversations. And we also want to thank our presenting sponsor, Magic Mind. Magic Mind is the best thing that has happened to me in terms of my health, in terms of discovering this great product, and we are so fortunate to have a great partnership with our friends at Magic Mind. You take your shot of Magic Mind every single day, and if you do take that shot, what happens? You will have more mental clarity, you will have less stress, and you'll have better focus on the day ahead. And why is that? That is because of the signature nootropics and vitamins that help get you into the right mindset. And the way you get Magic Mind is by going to magicmind.com slash PCMB. Use discount code PCMB20 and get 40% off your first subscription or 20% off your first subs your first one-time purchase. That is magicmind.com slash PCMB and use discount code PCMB20 for 48% off your first subscription or 20% off your first one-time purchase. I want to thank everybody for the opportunity, especially Magic Mind, for making this happen. And check out the episode description below. Okay. It's a in the tale of the last two weeks. Five and one last week in football picks. One and five. Sorry, five and one two weeks ago and one and five this week. What a mess. What an ugly, ugly mess to allow this thing to happen. But it's a new week. Got more research in. We're watching the film. And this is what I'm going to say regarding our picks for week five and week four. So let's first go over the college football picks. Week five of the NFL. Sorry, week five of the college football season. Let's do our week five college football picks. Let's open up with your game of the week. We have... The number two ranked University of Georgia taking on the number four ranked University of Alabama. Two undefeated teams. Big SEC matchup. Lots of implications on the line here. So, so far, the, as the as Georgia barely slides against Kentucky last week in their one SEC matchup, this is Alabama's first SEC matchup. This is a very, very crucial game. 7-30 on Saturday night, right in Alabama. Packed house, you know a lot of stuff is going down. And Georgia's last loss was against Alabama, and they lost by a field goal towards the, end, uh, towards the end of last season. And the college football playoff game, no, no, not the college football playoff game. Just a big uh, matchup, it's my mistake there. But this is big. So you're telling me we have Kirby Smart versus Kalen DeBoer, and he, Kirby Smart has been known, or has been known to uh, not show up against Alabama. He's one in five against Alabama, and Alabama has proven themselves in the rushing game and the passing game with Milrow and Miller. And for the Georgia team, who hasn't had much of a hard schedule and almost lost to Kentucky, this is a big game for them to prove themselves on the road. Your spread right now is plus. Sorry. Your spread right now is University of Georgia at only minus two and a half. And if you ask me where the spread actually goes up a half a point when I study this this morning, now we're recording these a this afternoon. Give me Alabama plus two and a half for this matchup. Alabama plus two and a half. This is in regards to Alabama looking like a much better football team at the moment. Alabama being superior in the passing game, even though Beck and Hill Row on paper have similar have similar metrics. 
I think Milrow's the better player. Miller's the better two threat. Miller has better weapons. And Alabama has been proven to score more points than Georgia this season. And with the Georgia running back and ETN's brother, not Travis ETN, but Trevor ETN, who has been only okay at the running game, and we have Miller, who has gotten a few touchdowns, who's had a good amount of yards, and also just all the better receivers and weapon options, plus Alabama proven they have a better defense. Give me, I, I don't want to say it's obvious, but I think leaning towards Alabama plus two and a half is a great, great pick. So give me Alabama plus two and a half. Our next game to discuss, we have here an ACC matchup. My other two matchups are ACC matchups. We have 15th ranked Georgia undefeated going to Notre Dame to play the 16th ranked Georgia. Your spread at this moment is Notre Dame minus six and a half. And I'm going to take the underdog in Louisville plus six and a half. Louisville has looked pretty good in the passing game. Louisville has a great offensive line. And Notre Dame, who's had, who despite the last couple of weeks, have had dominating matchups after the embarrassing loss to the to Northern Illinois. I would say the Louisville Cardinals are going to pull off this. They can win. They can either outright win this game or keep it close as Notre Dame has had moments of struggling at home, even against bad teams. Louisville is arguably the best team Notre Dame will go up against so far this season. And at 3.30 on Saturday afternoon, give me the Louisville Cardinals at plus 6.5. I'm going for it again. I really love the U. The U, 7th-ranked University of Miami, is hosting Virginia Tech, where the spread is minus 17.5 points. And you know what? Maybe it's risky, maybe it's not. But I believe the U will stay undefeated. Cam Ward will have another insanely great offensive showcase. And I believe the University of Miami will continue to impress people, stay on top of the ACC board, and going up against a mediocre Virginia Tech team who has shown their struggles on defense and offense throughout the season. I think Miami minus 17 and a half is a lock. I will go as far as to call it a lock. My one pick last week was for the U which they were able to cover easily against South Florida. And I believe they will continue it again against the Virginia Tech Hokies. So your picks for college football this week, Louisville plus six and a half, Alabama plus two and a half, and the University of Miami minus 17 and a half. Now let's switch to the NFL. The NFL picks from me last week were ugly. They sucked. But we're here to accept it and move on. So here are my picks. I'm going with the 1 o'clock Denver Broncos, New York Jets matchup. As the Broncos crushed my hopes and dreams of getting another pick last week, and as they played pretty well against a Tampa Bay Buccaneers team that I clearly overestimated, well... They're playing a much, much better New York Jets team that hasn't been hit by the injury bug, that is hitting on all cylinders after their wins against Tennessee and the Patriots, and at home playing, at, and clearly Vegas has given them plenty of points to try to get this cover. I think the Jets can win this game by 10 points. I think Garrett, who's going to stop Garrett Wilson? Who's going to stop? What? How is this? Denver Broncos pass rush going to stop this new duo in Braden Allen and Reese Hall. Aaron Rodgers looking like his old self. And that defense not really doing anything about it. Doing And that defense not looking like they're slowing down. They are playing an inferior opponent once again. And though the Broncos are probably a little better than the Patriots, I think the Jets... Winning by more than seven and a half points is going to be a lock. So give me the Jets minus seven and a half over the Broncos. Thanks to a in thanks to a stellar offense the Jets are playing right now. Thanks to the Broncos still figuring themselves out. 
And if the Jets could get eight sacks on Jacoby Brissett and the Patriots, I'm sure they could get a they could create a lot of pressure for Bo Nix as he's still trying to figure out who he is in the National Football League. So next. We have the Pittsburgh Steelers going to Indianapolis, where the Pittsburgh Steelers only opening at minus one and a half. The undefeated Steelers should continue their undefeated streak against the Indianapolis Colts, not only for having arguably the best defense in the NFL right now, certainly the best pass rush. And you combine that with the ruthless and extremely aggressive, maybe even too aggressive, Anthony Richardson, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a multiple sack game from TJ Watt trying to get somebody who runs out of the pocket as much as Anthony Richardson does. Plus the defensive backs and plus I don't think Anthony Richardson, despite all that pressure, will be able to get people like Pittman Jr. or Jonathan Taylor the ball. They'll probably have to run it. And again, with the stellar pass rush that the Pittsburgh Steelers have, it's going to be a tough game for Indianapolis at home. And even though my guy who does the Indianapolis Colts, this is our Colts, this is our team, he will have to be disappointed again against this Steelers team that's looking really good so far. So give me minus one and a half now for the Steelers over the Indianapolis Colts. And then we have my one underdog at this moment. The Arizona Cardinals are taking on the Washington Commanders. Arizona's opening at minus three and a half. And last week and on Monday, we saw Jaden Daniels have his breakout game, being able to will his team back against the Bengals, being able to clearly show he could play under pressure, and only continuing the great momentum Jaden Daniels has after winning the Heisman Trophy. I expect the Commanders to be the winning underdogs as the spread is minus three and a half for Arizona. Give me plus three and a half for Washington. As the Cardinals do look like they have actually pretty good offense, their defense is still something to wonder about. And I think the Commanders showing that they can be hitting on offense now, and maybe we're finally seeing the McLaren-Daniels duo starting to break out and branch out. Plus a pretty good running back uh, running game for the Commanders. I believe they'll be able to score points even on the road against Arizona. So give me the Commanders plus three and a half over the Cardinals. So my NFL picks once again: Jets minus seven and a half, Pittsburgh Steelers minus one and a half, the Commanders plus three and a half, and then if we want to go over it again, the the. NCAA picks, we have Louisville plus six and a half, Bama plus two and a half, the U in Miami minus 17 and a half. And those are our picks. We went five and one two weeks ago, one and five last week. Now let's get two sweeps in a row on both leagues. Let's do it. Thank you for tuning in. Check us out for tomorrow's tweet cab, and that'll be another week in the books. And don't forget to check out check us out on Monday to look at our recaps for week four in the NFL and week five in college football. My name is Matt Brown. I am the host of the Productive Conversations podcast. See you all very soon. Much love, everybody. Peace.